Have you ever wondered why some languages sound so sweet and soft to your ear, while others may come across as sharp or harsh? In today's video, we'll dive deep into the fascinating world of languages and explore why certain languages give us different auditory experiences. Linguists classify languages based on their unique sound patterns, and there are specific characteristics that make some languages sound softer, while others feel a little more staccato or harsh. But what exactly makes these languages sound so different? Let's break down these characteristics or levers that shape how we perceive a language's sound. Aspirated consonants are strong, breathy sounds. Think of the ka or tha sound, which involves a noticeable puff of air. Languages that use a lot of aspirated sounds can seem sharper or harsher. Tonal languages like Thai and Chinese rely on pitch changes to distinguish meaning. For listeners unfamiliar with tonal languages, these shifts can feel abrupt and may contribute to a perception of harshness. Some languages combine multiple consonants together without intervening vowels. This creates a more staccato, abrupt rhythm, adding to a harsher sound quality. Languages that flow smoothly between vowels and consonants like French or Italian tend to sound softer and more melodious. 5. Vowel to consonant ratio. Languages with more vowels and fewer consonants are typically perceived as smoother and softer. In contrast, languages with dense consonant structures may sound harsher. Classification of languages. Now let's classify some of the world's major languages based on these levers. We'll break them down into three categories, soft, neutral, and harsh languages. One, soft languages. Languages like French, Tamil, Spanish, and Italian are often considered soft because they lack harsh aspirated consonants and have smooth vowel rich sounds. Languages like Hindi, English, German and Russian fall in the middle. They balance aspirated and non-aspirated sounds and while they may contain harsher elements like consonant clusters, they're not overwhelmingly sharp. Languages like Thai, Cantonese, Arabic and Vietnamese tend to sound harsher due to their frequent use of aspirated consonants, tonal shifts, and dense consonant structures. At the end of the day, our perception of a language's softness or harshness is subjective, influenced by our own linguistic backgrounds. But understanding the mechanics behind these perceptions can help us appreciate the incredible diversity of the world's languages even more. Which languages do you find soft or harsh? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for more linguistic deep dives.